What's up boys, Call Sign Grammy here, and today we're talking about Broken Arrow in its now third or fourth, maybe more open beta period, which gives you a chance to test out the game, see how you like it, see where, where the current state of it is at, and most importantly for us to give feedback to the developers so they can go back in there to make adjustments, balance changes, various iterations of the game to have it ready for official launch which now looks like it's going to happen in 2025 now i think there's no doubt about it that broken arrow is highly anticipated as a rts uh, game within the genre and i've been a fan of it i've been creating content around this game since i was in the very first wave of closed beta and then into the first round the very first open beta and you can see those videos way back in my channel uh, the thing about it though is that over these open beta closed beta periods the game has completely been changing with uh, various ways new maps uh, different assets adjustments balances stuff like that and so where we're currently at with broken arrow in this current open beta period here at the end of 2024 instead of me talking about what i think uh the game needs where i think it's currently at and if it's gonna be ready for a launch soon so on and so forth i decided i wanted to just ask you the broken arrow community so i went into the broken arrow discord server where it's a great place to find other players in the looking for groups to squad up with and uh, play some rounds and that's exactly what i did and as people joined my chat channel to uh squad up I took the opportunity to ask them what they thought about Broken Arrow, and that's what I'm going to share with you in this video. Hopefully, the goal here is that this reaches the developers, and they can take this into account amongst all the, all the other feedback that they're going to receive uh, throughout this open beta period, both on the back end side, and as well as content like this, where you're hearing out of the player base's own mouth. Right now, now that this is what, maybe the third open beta they've done, maybe fourth, I believe, yep. where in, in its current open beta, they've gone through and they've um, took in player feedback. I, I think I give them credit that they've been very communicative with us and hey, what do you guys like in feedback? Where it is now with this current open beta, how close in your opinion, if you had to assign it a percentage value, how close do you think this game is right now to being ready to be released? I'd reckon they're about 70%, I'd say, okay. maybe about 60%. I think they've got a lot of things to do when it comes to balancing, mainly with prices and all that. But other than that, I think it's getting a bit closer. Okay. And as far as just the fun of the game, what, what would you rate that, 1 to 10? Um, as someone who's been playing RTS games for way too much of his life, I'd give this a ten. 9. Awesome. A 9 or a 10, to be honest. I really like it. <laughs> Gotcha. Yeah, I'll say it's about 9.5. 9.5, okay. Hey, uh, Maureen, uh, the question to you, bro. What do you think? How, how, What percentage of the way are they to, for this being ready to release? Yeah, I'd, uh, I'd definitely have to say probably about a solid 70, 75. You know, I wanted the game to be released uh, when they initially said at the end of the year, but it's clear, especially on this beta, that they're not there yet. It's lacking in a little bit of areas, but... Yeah, it's the whole point of the open beta, and luckily there's a high volume of traffic, so there's clearly things they've seen that they need to work on. So hopefully sometime mid-next year, I'd probably give it when it'll be out. All right, and if you had to kind of assign a, a 1 through 10, how just in its current state, how, how, how much fun of a game is it for you? Uh, I'd have to agree with those ratings. I'd probably say, yeah, probably like a solid 8.7, 8.7-ish. 8. Gotcha. Around gotcha. there, gotcha. Thank you, Joker, Private Joker. <laughs> hey, but what what would you say uh, as far as uh, where, where Slytherin is, as far as uh, percentage wise, at, at this game being ready to launch? Um, I'm a little more bullish. I think it's uh, maybe about 85, at least 85 percent ready. Okay. Um, we've, um, you know, there have been plenty of other uh, titles, uh, plenty of other beloved titles on, especially on PC, that have had. Uh, much rockier starts than this open beta. Um, I, I'm sure at least at least a couple of you have been playing Helldivers too. Um, I made that, that comparison. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean that may that had uh, huge issues for fucking weeks after it's um, after it launched. So um, for them to get the issues down in the open beta after like under 48 hours is is kind of impressive. Um, as far as balancing goes, um, I think overall it's 
pretty well balanced. Um, I would like to see. I think helicopters are maybe a little overpowered, and I think um, I think standoff weapons need to be. I think their range needs to be buffed. Um, I mean, artillery feel like fucking grenade launchers in this game. So, um, I'm maybe not quite the range that you see in Warno, where you can like literally sit at spawn and hit the enemy's fucking spawn. But, um, yeah, they just they seem kind of fucking useless right now. So, okay. I like to see that their range buffed. That's, I think that's the only. Um, main complaint um air power i think i think they've done air power perfectly in this game um i fucking love how they do it though so, okay um, yeah that's interesting yeah I, I felt in the prior uh betas that the air component was a little wonky for me i thought so i'm hopefully this time around jumping into it i'll, I'll notice some kind of uh maybe improvements for me what, what's everyone's overall thoughts on the nuke uh, is, is that is it thumbs up? Is that fucking badass, or or what's, what do I think on about the nukes? I think it looks it. It looks it, cool. it, it looks it's amazing, damage. but yeah. it's very underwhelming, and I think the <laughs> point value for that reflects that. Um, it it's good for like clearing one objective. Right. That's yeah. It. Yeah. Really. Yeah. I don't blame them. I think. How do you? You know? Because I mean, we all know. Like IRL, what the, the the damage of a model of, of one of these things is, right? Like, how do you how do you not break the game because someone mm -hmm. can make the argument that you drop one, they should just be be a game over, right? But uh, uh, counterpoint uh -huh. um, in real life, these tactical nuclear weapons have so called dial a yield um, features built into them, so you can you can change the yield selection on these yeah. arms all the way from. Uh, exploding with a force of just 200 tons of TNT all the way up to uh, several hundred thousand tons of TNT. Mm -hmm. So there's, it is absolutely uh, plausible that in a real world scenario that they would uh, be flinging these to each other at their lowest setting. So I think I was saying that as well to someone who kept on saying that these nukes were way too small, and I was like, mm -hmm. not necessarily. Yeah, I, can, I, think I mean, yeah, I mean, the yeah. little boy who was dropped on Hiroshima was like thirteen thousand tons of TNT, uh, about f a little over fifteen thousand tons, and these bombs would be about maybe not even one tenth of that. So yeah, okay. But I think you, if you if you wanted to, you could dial up the yield to explode. Mm -hmm. Uh, literally 200 times that, but um, then it's no longer a tactical nuke; it's a strategic nuke. So, so is the consensus here from from you guys that as far as the nuke goes, currently they should beef up the damage model of it. the 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 visual of it looks pretty badass, but it, we're talking about just the damage component yeah. of it should maybe be buffed a little bit. No, I think I, really no. I think I think specifically. You don't need to wipe out units, but you need to be able to stun a whole bunch of units in a wider yeah. area. Gotcha. I like that. Maybe like, yeah. like an EMP effect or something like that. Yeah. Well, I guess disable that's... vehicles, disable, you know, infantry. You know, like, take out half of their health and disable the rest. That's not in the core area of the explosion. It should, um, even if it doesn't kill them, it should still pin them down, you know, when they exactly. get suppressed and all that. It should still suppress a bunch of units around it because it's a fucking nuke. <laughs> you know, yeah, you're, not you're still gonna be terrified of it. Yeah, I mean, even if you don't die, they might be like EMP hardened, and I mean, they're CBRN hardened, but like, no matter what, it's gonna be brighter than the fucking sun ten times yeah. over. So they're gonna be blinded. Yeah, and I, and and I think a ground will see that, and guys. then he will get blind. Fucking yeah. Yeah. So. Got it. Uh, I don't think the damage should be changed though. I think the raw damage, though, I think is fair. It's, it's, I think so, so, is fair. so damage like is okay. We're, so we're just talking about the uh, radius in which it impacts everything. That's what. Yeah, it, the, got it. It shouldn't kill more, but it should have more of an impact around it. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Maybe a bigger radius of impact, but the kill zone should stay the same. How far off do you think the game is from release? If you had to like put a percentage of the way to to fully complete, where, where, where would you think it's at right now? I don't really know. There's like a lot of quality of life improvement stuff that's, that's I think like is missing and like I think like polishing games like these is gonna take like takes a shit ton of time. Like it always does with like anything in software. So 
Mm-hmm. Like I feel like it's it's they're far done and they're like they're far along, but I feel like we're probably gonna see like Q2 2025 is my guess. What kind of immediately comes to mind when you think about something in the current beta that's like super unbalanced or even OP, whether it's a, whether it's a strat, whether it's a unit, what, what's something on, on the current beta that's just like, holy shit, dude, they got to fix this. It's got to be how weak AA is against choppers and planes. A chopper easily 1v1s like any AA in the game. Why? And it can 2v1 even. When you catch like troops on the open, they the troops are like bullet sponges. You're like, dude, you should wipe them away if they're not in protective cover. You should just be able to wipe them pretty I quick. I was about to say, no, I agree with, that, with, with the somewhere. rockets, with the heli rockets, like the normal rockets, the unguided ones, yeah, they just like the the troops just soak them. Yeah, like I will have seven. I'll have a two rocket pods, and it'll be seventy two rockets, and they'll soak every single one. Yep. And I'll have to go on on repair. Yep. Yeah, I think if you're caught on the open in troops, you should get punished. That's that's what I was been thinking. If you're in cover Even in the house, though. Well, I mean, you know, in the house, I, I get it, you know, but at least you're like you got to balance it there. Yeah, but if you're just caught in the open, dude, you should get you should get wrecked in the butt. <laughs> For real. So out of the 50 plus people that have played the latest open beta with through the Broken Arrow Discord server in these lobbies. I chose these individuals and their answers because one, they articulated it very well. And secondly, they really embodied what the majority of everyone else that I asked the same question to uh, replied with. And so I thought that was a good way to encapsulate that making this an entirely too long of a video, but give you a general consensus of what most people that have asked these questions to in these lobbies have replied with. And I would love to hear at this point, what do you think to those uh, very same questions that I asked? these guys that I've uh, played some matches with. Let me know down below and maybe just maybe the devs get a hold of this and take into consideration as they go forward with this game. I'm excited about it. I'm sure you are watching it are excited as well. And we want this to be the uh, best possible game that it can be at day one launch. So let's hope that that happens. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, call sign Grammy.